Hello, welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In today's episode, we are going to talk about electrostatics. So electrostatics is our next subtopic to be treated. What do we mean by saying in electrostatics? It is the study of the phenomena about stationary electric charges. So basically, we are talking about the study of stationary pay attention stationary electric charges this is all what we want to study when we say electrostatics the study of stationary electric charges so in electrostatics the electric force acting on stationary charges are going to be also discussed when charges exist we are also going to look at electric forces electric forces acting on them acting on stationary charges so let's look at this we have charges to be either positive charge or a negative charge so we have positive what charges where we can see it this way this charge is what positive and we also have what we call negative charges negative charges so this is a negative charge so in electrostatics we are going to study carefully how these charges behave the electrical effects they give and how they influence they are surrounding are we okay so this is what we mean by electrostatics these charges are going to exert some force onto their surrounding and it is going to affect everything around them are we okay we will dive deep into how these charges the positive ones behave and how the negative charges also behave but let's look at these charges now as a negative charge is existing and the positive charge is also there there is some influence these charges are going to have on their surrounding and this is what we call the electric effect or the electric field effect are we okay so what is the effect of the charge on its surrounding and that is what we call the electric field effect so anytime there is a charge a positive charge there is a space around this charged body in which it exerts a force on other charged bodies around it are we okay so if this is a positive charge and i bring another negative charge around this positive charge there is going to be a force that is going to exert itself onto the negative one charge there is going to be an influence from the positive charge onto the negative charge in this form and this effect and the space at which this effect can happen is the electric word field so any field any surrounding so throughout all the space is a field where the effect of the positive charge can be experienced are we okay so the effect of the positive charge on the negative charge is also seen over here now we can also see as this positive charge is affecting let's call the positive charge a and this as b as the positive charge is having influence on the negative charge b there is a force there is a force that is causing this action we can see the lines the force lines that is causing the effect from the a to the b and this is what we call the electric force there is either a pull from the positive to the negative or there is either a repulsion between them we will talk much about these charges let's look at how this charge fails behave when we have a an isolated 
positively or negatively charged. So we are going to see how a charge will behave if it is isolated, whether it is positive or negative. So let's assume this is a charge, a positive charge that is isolated. When we talk about charges, we are talking about positive and what negative charges. So if I remove one charge and I am to examine the effects on this positive charge. This positive charge is always going to exert force onto its surrounding this way. It is always going to exert this force onto its surrounding. The effect is going to move from the positive charge and to the outer charge. This is what we have. So you can see that the field effect is pulling away from the positive charge. And if we isolate a negative charge this way, the effect is also going to come onto the negative charge. Are we okay? So anytime a negative charge and a positive charge are meeting, the pull is going to come from the positive charge onto the negative charge this way. So this is what we have. You can see that if they are isolated, the force, the lines of force is going to move from the positive onto the negative. So this is positively charged. And this is negatively charged. So once we have this idea, we are good to make other analysis. Now, if we know the effects of the positive one and we know the effect on the negative one, let's look at if two opposite charges are placed together, are we okay? Or two opposite charges surface, how they are going to behave. So the B part, we are going to look at the effect of two opposite charged bodies. So I have a surface, let me call this, this is a bar with positive charges. And this is another bar of the opposite charge. So this is going to be positively charged surface. We have it this way. This is also negative in this form. Let's look at the effect. Now, this lines of force or the effect, the electric force is going to move from the positive to the negative if the two surfaces are opposite to each other. So we have it this way. We see it move from the positive aspect to the negative aspect. So this part, we can also see the effect happening this way, that it is moving from the positive to the negative. The same thing, it is happening this way. It is moving from the positive to the negative. Are we okay? So these lines, we should always pay attention that the magnetic or this is electric effect we are talking about the electrostatics, right? So it is the electric effect. It is moving from the positive charge surface to the negative charge surface, as we can see from this part, and as we can also see from this part. The same thing is happening over here. Now we can also look at it in a different form. That if we have two light charges, let's look at this. This is positive charge coming closer to the other positive charge. So let's look at how it is going to behave. Now the effects, the electric forces, the lines, they are going to repel. So this is going to move this way. We can see that this is also going to move this form. This is going to move this way. and 
place is also going to move that way. The same thing is going to happen to this chart. We can see moving it in this direction. This one is also going to move in the direction because they are like charges, they are going to repel the effects. Are we okay? So these are like charges. And what do they do? They undergo repulsion, repelling each other. Now let's look at a different case if we also have a charge of a positive charge now coming near a charge of negative let's look at the effect because they are unlike charges they are going to attract and we know that the effect is always going to move from the positive to the negative this way and this is also going to move from this part to this this is going to move from here so this is how charges behave when they come close to the offset charge in this form so we can continue this will now move to that place and end on the negative path this will move from here and it will end on the negative one so this is a representation of unlike charges they also attract they undergo attraction because they are unlike charges now let's look at a situation where we have a concentric scenario so we have this form and we also have it this way and we have a positive charge placed at the middle so this is negative this is negative this is negative and this is negative now what we are going to experience is we are going to see the lines of force being attracted from the positive to the negative this way to the negative and from the positive to the negative so we are going to have something like this because the charges are opposite charges we are going to experience it are we okay now let's look at some properties of these lines of force let's look at some of the properties how do these lines behave you cannot just draw and write this line of force you should obey certain rules and know how it works. So properties of the line of forces. One, what we are saying is the force or the line of force. This is what I refer to the lines of force. The effects or the lines moving from the positive to the negative. What we are saying is that the lines never intersect. So these lines, these lines of force, they never intersect. So we are not going to see something like this where we have a positive charge and a negative charge and you see something like this. So this is from the positive and you experience something like this and you say it is moving and you are going to see something like this never they never intersect so when you look at the drawings from this part they are always on their own they will never intersect each other are we okay so the second point is each line of force starts from a positive charge and terminates on a negative charge so it always starts from a positive charge and ends on a negative charge so we cannot say something like that. this is negative and this is positive and you will ever experience this force moving from the negative to the positive or something like negative to the positive 
this will never happen. It is always in this form. Even if this is negative, this is positive. The lines are going to move from the positive to the negative and always from the positive to the negative. Please pay attention. So this is right about these lines. And the third point is saying that the electric effect is strong where lines are close and weak when the lines are separated. So since we are talking about charges and these charges are electrical charges, we are going to say the electric field. So the electricity that we are generating or the electric effect that we are experiencing is greater is greater when the lines of forces are close to each other and it is also weak or weaker when they are separated when they are separated so you will see that in some drawing let's take this drawing for instance the lines are closely packed so you can see that the field effect here is very strong as compared to this charges you can see that the lines are widely separated the space between them is very wide by looking at this the space they are close to each other which will make the electric field very strong among them so we have these three properties of the line of forces and with this we can draw any other diagram so thank you for watching this episode this is just an introduction to electrostatics which is telling us that we are going to talk more about charges being positive and negative we knowing how the electric field is going to behave moving from a positive to a negative charge if they are light poles they are going to repel if they are on light poles they are going to attract and some properties so this is just a simple introduction let's dive deep by going to the next episode to talk more about this thank you for watching this episode subscribe to the channel and please like the video and drop your comments see you in the next episode